Okay, this is Flash CS6, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a little spaceship sprite so that when you create your Flash movie, and you get a Flash movie, right, you have your little spaceship sprite here, and if you click thrust, you can see that you have the, the ship is thrusting, and you can click stop, and it'll stop thrusting, and if you click shields, it'll activate the shields and you have shield now around your ship and then eventually the ship fades away and goes back so stop thrust and then shields right okay and I'm going to show you how to create this in flash using action script 2 right so first of all here's the file we've got um, this is just a piece of text up here I've got a button here this is a button symbol and this is a button symbol over here and this is a button symbol and then this symbol right here in the center is a movie clip and I've named it ship and then inside this movie clip if I select it with my selection tool and double click you can see it has a timeline here that we're going to create that is activated when you press the buttons the playhead jumps let's say to different places on the timeline to activate the little mini animations so that's what we're going to create in this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So what we'll do is we'll say File, New, and we'll open up a new file, and we're going to make sure it's ActionScript 2.0, and we'll click OK. And now we have a blank file with ActionScript 2.0 as the scripting language. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the line tool, right? And I've got the line tool here. I've got the stroke color is black. And what you might want to do is make sure that you have view snapping and you could say snap to guide, snap to objects. I like to have snapping on for this that way it makes it a little easier. So what I'll do is I've got my line tool and I'm just gonna draw this spaceship out. Hopefully it's snapping to these edges. Right? And we'll just do it like that and like that, right? So just kind of a triangular ship here. I'm going to zoom in on it and then I'll get my selection tool, this black selection tool, and if I approach the corner here I can actually modify this and pull these corners into position so that um, I like it better, right? Or whatever. Um, let's see here, that looks pretty decent. If I go to window, no, view rulers I can pull out a ruler to test to see if the edges are correct. So they're not, so I can just kind of pull that. And now I know that they both pull to this um, horizontal or this vertical line, rather. I'll just take that and pull that off. Okay, so I've got our ship, and I'm going to get a paint bucket here. Let's see here, where's my paint bucket? There it is, paint bucket. And I will fill it with, let's say, a green color. So now my ship has been painted, and I have, when I select it, I've got a fill. If I double click on it, I have the whole thing selected. And, or I can just, with the black arrow, click and drag around to select everything. And I'm going to modify, convert to symbol, and I want this symbol to be a movie clip. So we'll say movie clip, registration point in the center, and I'm going to name it MC-ship and hit enter, and now I have a movie clip. So if I select it, in the property window it says movie clip, there's the name, instance of MC-ship, and I want to give this an instance name in my movie. So once again, with it selected, instance name, I'm going to give it the instance name ship and hit enter so that it takes. So if I deselect by clicking on the background, you know, I, I don't see it here in the property window. This is just the frame or the movie. But if I select it in the property window, I should see the name ship here. Okay. So now that we have that, we can also create our three buttons that we're going to need on the side here. So I'm going to get the text tool make sure the property window says classic text. You can set the color here and set it to black and I'll type, let's see here, 
thrust, then get the selection tool and make a new text box with the text tool. And we'll say stop, and then once again deselect, and then get the text tool and shields or shield, right? Okay, selection tool. Highlight all three text boxes. See, I've got one text box, two text box, three text box. They're all classic text. What I can do is I can take this alignment panel and I can align them, let's say, left. Align left edge, and now they're all aligned to the left. I can also space them out in between. Here's spacing. Make the spacing in between them even. And so that's nice. Now what we need to do is convert each one of these to a button symbol. So we highlight the first one, modify, convert to symbol. And this will be a button instead of a movie clip. And this will be BTN1 and hit OK. And then this one, I'll select it, modify, convert to symbol. And this one also is a button, not a movie clip. And this will be BTN2 and hit OK. And then the last one, same thing. Uh, modify, convert to symbol, BTN3, and hit OK. Now, I also need to give these buttons instance names if we're going to target them with ActionScript. So we get the first one and name it BTN1. All right, you see that? BTN1. And then the second one, I'll Click in here and give it an instance name BTN2 and hit enter. And this third one, BTN3. Now can you do that? Can the movie clip be named BTN1 and the instance name be named BTN1? Yes, they can. Right? So the movie clip can be BTN1 and the instance name can also be it. Uh, you'll notice that if I click on the library here, these assets are now in the library. I've got three buttons in my library, and I've got my ship in the library too, right? Okay, symbols go into the library. Okay, so BTN1, BTN2, and BTN3, and we're doing pretty well. 